It all started when my dad built the original star bed at Jackie's. This was overlooking this magnificent wetland. The idea was that you could have a night out under the stars and be able to view game at the same time. So during the day you could come here and you'd also be able to sleep here at night. Therein comes our relationship with Pangolin. So Guts and Toby came up, had a look, we walked around the wetland, it was young myself, Guts and Toby. Then we walked over, we looked here, saw, and I, we were talking about how much the elephants come and swim and the animals come down to drink. And then we came up to this original star bed and looked out and, and the whole time Guts was saying, let's put something in the water hole. We can put a tunnel in and that's how we'll make it accessible. So there the idea was born. The, the beauty about Jackie's is the fact that we are fenced and that allows you to walk to the hide at any time at 2 o'clock in the morning. If you can't sleep, you, you can actually go to the hide. Um, I think that's what makes it so special. The hide at Jackie's Tree Lodge is uh, very unique. You get very low angle on the water, so you basically get eye level with the water. Um, and getting the big game, the elephants, giraffe, zebra, you know, there's always a chance for a lion or a leopard, cheetah perhaps, um, hyena in the area. Um, so you can get really nice low level angles of the animals drinking. Um, the big elephants come very close. Rhino if you're lucky. Um, and it's great, you can go in there any time in the evening after drive, before drive. It's always open and it's always there for us to use. In every industry there's, there's, there's new direction. Um, I think in, in, our, in our industry, which is game drives, and game viewing and all those kind of things, um, I think the photographic side is becoming so important. The safari experience at Jack is, is already incredible, especially with the game drives in the Medico Reserve. With the game drives, you actually go out and look for the animals. You go into their environment, um, and it's a real complementary activity to, to the hide, where actually you're in the hide, um, and you're waiting for the animals to come to you. So the two combined just give you an incredible diversity. Having the, the equipment like the GIMPRO mount to put the, the cameras and the long lenses on just is really, really useful. It's very, very practical to be able to get stability. The GIMPROs can be booked out from the lodge, mounted on the vehicle, and they're just extremely versatile when going on game drives for shooting a variety of subjects. Whether you've got an iPhone, a camera, a muck and druk, a happy snapper, no matter what type of photographer you are, once you've left here, you actually feel as if you are a professional photographer. I think the hide is what's taking us in a different direction. And looking at it from a professional point of view, just giving the guest an all-round experience that basically is not, you can't get it anywhere else. And that's what we really want. How fantastic is that? I think people will leave having been able to, as I say, witness animals in their natural behavior, in their natural environment, at very close quarters, with no impact on the animal at all. Yet the impact on the individual is beyond words. The, the, the excitement, the thrill, just the sheer awe of being able to sit in the hide and watch the animals. I mean, when the elephants are swimming, literally the splashing, the, the splashing of the water comes in the windows and splashes you and you just... Often I sit there, I just stop taking photographs and I just watch the elephants. Often I sit in the hide and I just watch. I love being able to be there. I love the fact you do not know what is coming down. It's all a surprise. It's mind-blowing. <laughs> I just love it. I don't know. I can't think of the, the right words to explain the feeling of being in that hide or sitting up here at the starboard and just simply soaking it in.